Hey, this is Vendor Satanis. How's it going? This, the topic of this video is just something I thought of and popped in my head while I was reading a book on um, like game mastering and uh, ideas, sifting through ideas and brainstorming and different kinds of games and blah blah blah. I was, that's the baby. I was thinking specifically of D&D &D and uh, Call of Cthulhu, the role-playing game, and notice that D&D &D is more uh, like player character driven with the motivations being, you know, I want to find treasure or I want powerful magical items, you know, I want to get more powerful, more wealthy, I want to, you know, do this and that, and that's why I go out and explore and, you know, hunt down whatever goblins or minotaurs, etc. Whereas in Call of Cthulhu, it's kind of the opposite. Um, mainly, it's the an the machinations of the antagonists that are driving the plot or the story. And they're really going after what they want with the, their motivations. And then it's the players that have to pick up on clues or investigate or kind of are involved in the story cleanup uh, from what the antagonists have done. Um, so it's more opposition driven. And I just was kind of wondering to myself how, like, does that make for a completely different kind of game or different story? Is that maybe why some people like things like D&D and don't like Call of Cthulhu or maybe that's pretty incidental and it doesn't really matter what the prime original motivating factors are for a story or an adventure or a campaign so maybe it doesn't make a difference uh, or maybe it makes all the difference um, what would happen if D&D played more like Call of Cthulhu whereas um, you know, the D&D &D characters are more sort of like ensconced in their roles in the city or at some king's court or something like that. Or maybe they have businesses or a kingdom of their own and they're just kind of doing their normal thing until something bad happens and then they just react to that and pick up on clues and do their own investigation. Whereas the reverse, what would happen in Call of Cthulhu if the players were doing things, you know, the investigators were doing things right from the start, and it was up to other people to sort of, like, get in the way or clean up their mess or something. Anyway, just thoughts, thought I'd share that, uh, please comment or make a video response or something, because I want to know what all this means to you. Um, that's it. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu Fitagan.